All right, we had some growth on the mosquito fire throughout the day today. So it is up to almost 64,000 acres and it's at 20% containment right there. Now, if we wanna see where the activity was on the mosquito fire, good news was that hot spot or that spot fire that was rushing towards Forest Hill yesterday seemed to calm down as we had pretty cool temperatures today and a lot of moisture in the air. Although we did have some strong southwesterly winds, so that's why that eastern side of the fire was so active. Now, if we actually wanna see that eastern side of the fire, this is a three hour time lapse where you notice some of those smoke plumes punching through that smoke layer right there, but overall we had less activity than yesterday and way less activity than we were in the peak of that heat wave. So just looking at the spot fire, this is where the biggest story of the day was yesterday as that reached up near Forest Hill, but very minimal activity on that spot today, which was some great news to see. That was partially due to the cooler temperatures and the moisture, but also due to all the great work that's been done by wildland personnel on this fire, including all of those dozer lines that you see around the spot shown with those black X's. Now, when it comes to that 20% containment, looks like most of that is on the southern edge of the fire. And most of the growth and the areas where it's still uncontained is on the eastern side where we've had those southwesterly winds pushing the fire towards the northeast. And then if we look at fire history, not a whole lot of history in here. So there's just abundant dry fuels. Now, another great thing that's been going on in this fire is this firing operation up towards the northern part of the fire. What they're hoping is that's going to just be able to catch the fire and stop it in its tracks if it continues to move to the north. Now, when it comes to conditions tomorrow, I am still expecting this eastern side to be the most active because our winds will be coming from the southwest. Good news though, the winds are going to be calmer, temperatures are still below average, we have decent relative humidity, and there might even be some rain on the way for Sunday and Monday. So for more information on this, you can follow Holt Hanley Wildfire Forecasting on YouTube and Twitter.